What's the hurry, Matt? They're chasing a speeding car? Uh-huh. Hey, that cough doesn't sound too good. You're okay? Well, if you say so. There he is. Matt, you should really slow down. Oh. <laughs> Let's go see Amber. She'll fix your cough, and then we'll come back and catch the naughty speeder. Mm-hmm. Hey, Amber. Baby Amber. Matt, the police car, has a really bad cough. Can you help him out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can? Awesome. Oh dear, there's that cough again. Follow Amber to the examination room. Uh-uh. What are you going to do first, Amber? Diagnose the problem by examining Matt's tongue? Mm-hmm. Stick your tongue out, Matt. Huh? That's right. Matt, can you copy what uh -huh. baby Amber is doing? Huh? What's wrong? Matt's throat is sore and hot. Mm-hmm. Have you got anything to make him feel better? Mm-hmm. What's that? <laughs> Syrup to soothe Matt's sore throat? Mm-hmm. Do we need anything else? <laughs> A spoon? Don't be silly, Matt. You can't have any more. What else can we do for Matt? Cool his throat down? Okay. What shall we use? Do you know Baby Amber? Ice cubes. Great job. Be careful. Don't let those slippery ice cubes fall on the floor. Awesome job, guys. Thanks for your help. Don't forget to pick up a candy on your way out, Matt. Awesome job, Matt. Huh? See you next time. Hi, Billy. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, dear. You don't look so good. Maybe it's time to go see Amber. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amber. Huh? Billy is really sick. Can you help? Billy, Amber is ready for you. <coughs> Aw, poor Billy. <coughs> oh. 
Baby Amber, can you get your mom a thermometer? <laughs> That's not a thermometer, Amber. Now that's a thermometer. Say ah, Billy. Uh-oh. Does that mean Billy has a fever? Now what? Great idea, Amber. This medicine will bring down your fever, Billy, and it will stop your sneezing and coughing, too. Don't worry, it doesn't taste that bad. And it will make you feel better, so it's worth it. There you go, Billy. You can do it. See, it wasn't so bad. That looks nice, Amber. You take such good care of your patients. Thanks for your help, Amber. And for your help too, baby Amber. You're a great team. Come on, Billy. Let's get you back to the construction site. Now it's time to get some rest, Billy. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Hi, baby Amber. Are you here to check up on Billy? Billy, you look great. We're so glad you're feeling better. See you later. Bye, Amber. See you next time, friends. <coughs> that was some fire, Frank. Looks like you got here just in time to put it out without too much damage. Be careful, Frank. It's getting windy. Lower your ladder slowly. You don't want to break it. Oh dear, Frank. Your eye is all swollen. Does it hurt? Maybe it's from the smoke. You better get to the hospital. Don't worry, Frank. Amber will make sure you're taken care of. Mm-hmm. Hi, Amber. Frank was putting out a fire at the bank, and it seems like he got something in his eye. Mm -hmm. Can you help? Amber can see you now, Frank. Whoa, your eye is very red and puffy, Frank. You better follow Amber into the examination room. That's a bright light, Amber. What is it, Amber? Can you see what's causing Frank's eye to be so red? An ash from the fire? It must have blown through the air with all the wind. Ah! Eye drops will wash out your eye, Frank, and give you some relief.
now to double check that nothing else is in there. What's next, Amber? Baby Amber, are you a pirate? Only one eye should be covered. There you go, Frank. Amber has patched you up. Your eye will be healed in no time. Thank you for your help, Amber. And for your help too, Baby Amber. You make a good team. Back to the fire station, Frank, in case someone needs you. Have a good night, Frank. We'll check back with you in a few days to see how you're doing. See you next time, everyone. That's Jerry the racing car, and he looks like he's about to win another competition. Come on, Jerry, you can do it. Oh no, he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Jerry. There's a corner coming up. Ouch! Are you okay? Amber, the ambulance is in the crowd. Do you want her to come and help? Hey, Amber. Jerry's injured himself on those rocks. Can you come and see him? In you go, Jerry. Oh dear, it looks like you're going to need some help. You're probably not strong enough, Baby Amber. Wow, strong kid. Now let's see what the problem is. Good news, Jerry. Amber says there's nothing wrong on the inside, but perhaps you have an external injury. You're right, Amber. It looks like Jerry hurt himself when he went over those rocks. What have we got here? Some spray, some ointment, and a bandage. What's first, Amber? Good idea. Let's clean the injury with the spray. Baby Amber, can you bring the ointment to your mom? This is for protecting the wound. Just the bandage to put on now, Jerry, and you'll be good to go. Hmm. We need to wrap the bandage around Jerry's bonnet somehow. Of course. Baby Amber is small enough to drive under Jerry.
Is that everything? <laughs> Jerry's really grateful for your help, Amber. And he wants to thank you too, baby Amber. You've been as helpful and caring as your mom. Keep up the good work and stay safe, Jerry. Bye-bye.